surface is to make sure that the lines don't get tangled once in the water. Two. Two? Nice. Three. Oh, a big one. So any lobsters that we catch um, that meet our legal Three. requirements, yeah. we actually call them keepers, and we'll then ban them and put them in our tank. Any other lobsters will go right over into the water. So notice as we're breaking them in the trap, we're careful to first inspect the tail and under the tail for any fertilized eggs, and then the tail at the bottom to make sure there's no bee notch. This is a female, and there's a tiny little nick right here in this flipper, and that's going to prevent me from keeping her. So I'm going to reestablish that. Since we can't keep her, it's only fair that no one keeps her. We're going to reestablish that V notch so that on her next bolt. Because it grows back, is that what? Yeah, yeah, that yeah it was growing back. back, it was growing out. So now she's got a nice clear one. On her next molt, this will be a little bit smaller, that'd be notch. She'll never be kept. And there's something you said about the size of that, like the tenderness of the meat versus the size? Not really. This is all pretty much the same. Uh, the biggest lobster we can have in the state of Maine is about four and a half pounds. Now this is another female. Her little nick is a little bit bigger, so I'm going to yeah, we established that. This is a fine that we got And this is a female. She has no eggs, but that flipper is perfect. Now she'll look for the next step. Obviously, she's a good keeper. Alright, so once we get a keeper, we will then ban these lobster claws for two reasons. One, to protect us, because they do have the capability of breaking our finger. And two, because when we put them in the trap, um, lobsters have cannibalistic He's putting tendencies. Elastics on her. So if we put her in the claws. water with her claws okay. unbanned, she has the ability to eat our other lobsters. And she eats them, that's one less lobster we get to enjoy at the end of the day. Okay, Jake, this is where we uh, <laughs> made them. Okay, Jake. Come on up, Jake. <laughs> what? what? Champ, you, you, you want to do it? No. <laughs> we, you don't have to. You don't have to. <laughs> You don't have to be my friend right here. What's your name, sir? Come on, Ryan. Get up What's there, your boy. Name, sir? Uh, no? Come on, Ryan. What's your name? He'll go. Chance. Uh, he'll help me. He'll help me. Uh, look at all that. You, you don't have to. You don't have to. Okay? And what we do is we roll it up like socks. Okay? And this would be the tail. Okay, and then we get the head. Beautiful. We'll put a head in there. Okay? Maybe two heads are better than one. What do you think? Two heads might be better than one. Beautiful. That's how we do it. Then we just put the cover back on. Beautiful, huh? Oh, huh? Good job, Chance. Even if we don't get any lobsters, we do uh, need to remake the trap because other things such as fish, um, snails, crabs, sea urchins, anything can get in there and eat on our bait. So again, if we don't get any lobsters, we still need to remake the trap. And guys, I want to keep, we can help, it, help me keep a running count of how many lobsters we catch today. So remember, we already got one keeper, so let's remember that number. You what? You are a Alright guys, if you look out on the rocks, you're going to see a white vertical line rubbing on the rock. This is actually called quartz silk. It was formed over 400 million years ago when there was a crack in the rocks and molten quartz pulled up through the crack and solidified to make that hey, vertical Phil, line. Jam.